Hi guys, my name is Rachel. My name is Raina. And today we're going to talk about CS124 Honors and why you should join. So what is CS124 Honors? CS124 Honors is the honor section for CS124. And what's different about this course is that it is completely student run. So us, your leads, and a lot of the staff, or most of the staff will be students like yourself. And this also means that it's zero credit hours. Instead of a traditional letter grade, you will get a satisfactory, unsatisfactory. And for James Scholars, you will receive honors credit. This course has a medium high workload. So that means like 2.5 to four hours a week. And it is centered around a semester long group project. Before the project though, there will be a bunch of lectures and homework assignments on topics like Git and Bash to get you used to the tools that you will use in the future. And this course is for you to get the CS at Illinois experience. We'll be showing you like the clubs that you can join on campus and you can meet other students like yourself. Yeah, so why take CS124 honors? So CS124 honors is a very customizable and individualized experience. So you really get to work on what you are most interested in. CS is such a broad topic. So um, you'll really be able to go into your area of interest. As Rachel mentioned, there is a group project. And during that group project, you'll be matched with people with similar interests as yourself, as well as a project manager who will be able to guide you through the project based on what you choose. So their areas of interest will likely be very aligned with yours as well. The lectures on Git and Bash uh, will be at the beginning of the semester, and this will help you get acquainted with professional development tools. We'll also have special topic videos throughout the semester so that you can delve deeper into your area of interest. Project experience is also a huge part of the course. You'll be able to follow industry practices when you're doing this. So that is also just a great experience for talking to recruiters as well as going on your resume. This is also pretty unique because usually this doesn't come until later in your CS experience. So to get it this early is a very exciting and fun thing. Mentorship is also very important. You'll be getting this from your project manager, as I mentioned before, and we have a whole staff that's there to support you as well. So if you have an area of interest that isn't lining up with your project manager, or you just wanna you know, meet some staff, they are there to help you and you'll be able to learn from your peers as well in the great community. Yeah, so more about the semester long project. Here are some examples of past projects that students have done. Yeah, so this first one is called Sign Sign Revolution. It is a game that uses computer vision technologies to identify American Sign Language letters and teach you how to sign while playing it in a game format that's like Dance Dance Revolution. The second one is also a game, coincidentally. Um, this is a game that turns from a 2D view into a 3D view. And as you can see, there are a lot of levels that you can complete. The next one is a predator and prey simulation, which allows you to imitate prey movement once you've selected a coordinate. And we just shown these projects because we want to show how no matter what kind of interests you have, you can create a project that you love with people who have common interests. Yeah, and these projects as well as some others are featured on our website. They're actually in our Hall of Fame. So you'll be able to see these among others if you are interested. So who should take CS124 honors? CS124 honors has no prerequisites. So as long as you're enrolled in CS124, you can take the course. This is really important for those who want a challenge and for those who need a challenge, whether you're a beginner or you're very experienced, everyone is welcome and we'd love to have you. No matter what your skill level, people will be able to contribute very meaningfully and gain valuable experiences. You'll be so surprised to see how much you learn and grow over the course of the semester. Just be ready to work hard, learn, and have a lot of fun. <laughs> so how do you join? First, you should join our Discord, which is linked below. Um, this Discord will be the center 
central point of our communication. So it will house announcements, office hours, um, communication between you and your team, etc. The next thing you should do is sign up for our class. So there are different protocols for non-James Scholar students and James Scholar students. Non-James Scholar students should sign up for the class on self-service. Uh, it should be under CS 199-124. And James Scholar, student, James Scholar students should not sign up for the class. They should instead fill out the HCLA agreement for CS 124. And everybody should fill out this Google form to confirm your enrollment to let us know that you're in the class. Yeah, and this is absolutely necessary because there's no other way that we are able to track the fact that you're in the class. So in order to get all the necessary materials be paired into your groups, this is a very, very important step. You also need to enroll in the course on Prairie Learn. This is where our mandatory homeworks are going to be housed. If you follow the link, the course is listed as it is here on the slide. Also, please join us for our first lecture introducing the course. It'll be on this Wednesday, August 24th on Zoom from 7 to 8 p.m. And we will announce the link on the Discord. So make sure you join. But yeah, thank you so much for listening. Um, we hope you learned a little bit about what it's like to be in CS124, and we hope to see you in class.